we're going on a fox hunt. Keep watching to learn more about this really fun amateur radio activity. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, this morning I got the gear packed up in the car and we're going to go on a fox hunt. Well, what's a fox hunt, you might ask? Well, uh, it's basically, you're, what you're doing is you're using radio direction finding techniques to search for a hidden transmitter. So uh, one of our members of our amateur radio club this morning hid a uh, transmitter somewhere in the city of Wausau. And um, at 10 o'clock a.m. he's going to get on the repeater, tell us the frequency, and um, tell us to have at it, see if you can go find the fox. So uh, we're just waiting for the the announcement from him, but in the meantime, I'm just going to take you quickly through the tools of the trade for fox hunting. Basically, what you're going to want is, well, first off, a radio, a handheld radio, uh, something that's got a really nice meter for um, viewing the signal strength. So, um, if it's got if it's got a good meter for signal strength, all the better. Uh, next, and probably the most important piece is your uh, direction finding antenna. Uh, this is a three element Yagi or beam antenna that's made out of a tape measure. I got a video on how to do that yourself, so um, check the link up here or in the video description below if you want to find out how to make your own uh, tape measure beam antenna. Uh, next up, a real handy tool is an attenuator. Uh, what this is, is a little box that's got switches on it and then there's resistors in line. And this will attenuate or um, cut back the received signal. So as you get closer to the fox, uh, you can add um, attenuation to um, make the meter easier to read. Otherwise, as you get close in, what's gonna happen is you're always gonna see full scale on the meter and you'll never be able to figure out what direction the transmitter is um, working from. And then finally, uh, these are probably optional, but I like them. It's a map and a compass. I got a map of the city and I got a compass. So as I take a meter reading, I can also uh, mark it down on the map, um, chart a course, take a few readings, and then triangulate in to where the fox is located. Um, I have uh, hidden a box within the city of Wausau, and uh, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to find said box. I'll go ahead and take stations uh, checking in. Uh, if you are participating in the box hunt, please call in now. This is 89 CJX. The frequency for the box is 147.470. Once again, the frequency is 147.470. Once I end this transmission, I will go to that frequency and engage the box. And you can use whatever direction finding equipment you see fit to uh, find said box uh, and search it out. Once you find it, please call on this frequency, 147.135. And you'll need to repeat the phrase that is inside the box in a clear plastic envelope. Um, you'll need to call up the net control and read that. And then once you read that, I will check you in as having found it. Do not announce the location until all other stations have found it. All right, as you can see with the um, handheld radio on with just the little whip antenna, it is um, a really a weak signal. Uh, so uh, we're going to uh, uh, wait for the next uh, transmission to see if we can get a reading with it with the Yagi antenna. So let's get the Yagi set up and um, swivel around and hear what we can hear. What I have is the uh, handheld radio attuned to our simplex frequency the attenuator in line and all of the switches are set to the off position and we're connected to the Yagi antenna and uh, the fox will transmit every minute or so and there she goes now.
And as I swivel, it'll get strong, it'll get weak, so I'll be able to find where this thing is located. Plotting a course. So I really have no idea where this thing is located. Otherwise, like the first reading, we got um, north, slightly northwest from my home. So I'm gonna drive north a little ways and pick a spot to see if I can take a second reading here on this side of town and we'll start to triangulate things. So as I'm driving I can I can sort of hear the box getting stronger as we uh, move along here and uh, just sitting in the back of the car right now uh, connected to the antenna and I'm wondering if this um, box might be located near the uh, downtown area. So uh, it's just kind of paralleling downtown right now. So I'm pulling over here and uh, we will see. Okay, testing one, two, three. I am correct. Reading number two, it's close. Um, I had to turn on some attenuation and we'll see. I'm gonna go downtown and see if I can get a third reading. Down by the river. I got two clicks of attenuation on, and we're close. We're really close. At this point, I got all of the attenuation on, and it's pointing towards the island. So let's let's walk over to the island and see if we can sniff it out. So right now I just kind of crossed the bridge. A uh, little bit, I got full attenuation, which is something like a, it's gotta be over 100 dB. And we are close because I'm getting like a half, half the uh, signal there, probably like an S5, S7 on the meter. Uh, walking around a little bit, around the path, it gets weaker, so it gets stronger as I walk this direction. We're in the general vicinity. I think we'll find it rather quick. So at this point, I got all the attenuation on and um, it's strong, it's real strong. Walk, kind of walking around the island, searching. So, let's keep, it's, it's, it's in this area, so we're gonna keep walking and sniffing it out until we find it. You hear that, Joe? That is the sweet, sweet sound of finding the fox. You got her hit good, too. Look at that. It's got a Yagi antenna and it's um, 
pointed towards the building there, hopefully using um, the tower to sort of deflect and um, confuse the signal a little bit. But um, we found her. So inside the box, there should be an instruction sheet. And there it is. And I don't, I'm gonna have to go back to the car because I brought the wrong antenna with me and um, I don't have a connector to transmit with the Aggie. So we'll send the message back in the car. We found the fox, so let's uh, give Joe a call and uh, we'll read him the message. KD9CJX, KD9CJX, KB9VBR. KB9VBR, KD9CJX, did you enjoy the little jump this morning? Yeah, it was a good one. Um, good to get out in the fresh air and uh, spend the morning, but um, I got a little message for you. So we found the fox. It was um, hidden on the island right behind me, across the river there. Uh, walked down the path, across the bridge, and um, down in the weeds. He had the Yagi antenna pointed towards the um, building right over here. Uh, so kind of confused the signal. I had the opportunity when I took my first reading, I came from the east and um, got re two really good readings off the east so the building did not uh, confuse me at all. Came down here, parked, and I could tell I was close. Started cranking up the attenuation and uh, as we walked down the trail and across the bridge, it, um, everything just started to click and it uh, took me a little over 40 minutes to find the fox, which is well, that's pretty good time, I think. Uh, I'm sure it could be, could be better, could be worse, but uh, that's it. So a lot of resources online for fox hunting. If you want to start with that uh, on your own, uh, we'll put those down in the video description below to kind of get you started on the thing. And be sure to check out my video on the tape measure Yagi. That's in the video description too, because um, you can build one of those yourself. Get started on fox hunting. But for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpaul-antenna.com. Uh, your support of the... Uh, your support of this channel drives production of future videos. So if you like this video, give me that big thumbs up. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, check out um, some of the other recommended videos and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Pressing subscribe is your way to be notified when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, keep an eye on VBR. Have a great day and 73.